talk, we need to know how to tell the story the right way. So, we're still talking about our detect, deterring, and our reporting, okay? okay? In this video right here, again, you are patrolling this parking lot, and this situation happens in this parking lot, okay? You are a guard that is witnessing this happening. I need for you to report accurately in very fine details what has happened, okay? You ready? All right, here we go. Detect, deter, report. All right, so talk to me. Look over here. Detect, deter, report. Okay, detect. You're talking to 911 or you're talking to the police officer that has just arrived on scene. Okay. Go. So I observed a gray car pulling into the parking lot. Oh, dang, what did I say? I'm leaving out something I already know. Go on. And um, I observed a guy coming toward the car, waving a gun, saying, I'm going to kill you. What was the description of the guy? Uh, white, 5'5", five, five, blue shirt, black pants, blonde hair. Okay, come on. And I observed the lady getting back in her car and driving off. So I done left out something. I need to see that again. Because I know I done left out something. Yeah. So when, when you on a post, mm -hmm. do you have to write a report every day? Yes. You have to write an incident report. If something happens, you have to write a daily log or daily report. That's what I'm asking. Yes. So if nothing happens the you whole still, time, I mean, what am I supposed to say if nothing actually happened that day? Then you do, you write the report on what you did. At 9.25, I patrolled the parking lot. I witnessed one car, two car, three cars on the par on the premises. Or you just talk about what you see during that day. Okay. And at 9.30, I was back on my post. Or 9 this, or whatever case may be. 10.45, truck pulled up. You know, the individual was lost. Gave him the directions. He turned around. You know what I'm saying? You just report whatever is taking. Anything that actually happened. Right. All right. As a security officer, you want to get in a very good habit in paying attention to everything, paying attention to your details, making that report on every little thing. Because you never know what little thing may turn out to be a big thing later on. Okay, so if I was like on a post like, I'm supposed to pay attention to anybody walking, any kind of cars, you know. Yes, you pay attention to all of that. You have to be very vigilant. You have to be very observant, all right? That is one of the things that your client is going to be paying you for, is for you to be hyper-vigilant, okay? So, yes, ma'am, you do.